back to my channel so if you are coming from my, to my channel for the first time please guys make sure that you have subscribed so that you're gonna get a notification bell whenever i uploaded the video which is related to accounting which is going to assist you to prepare for final examination so the other good news about you guys for grade 12 i'm going to start a, a live which i'm going to do them on friday six o'clock at pm so make sure that you have subscribed so that you get a notification bell whenever that i start a live so that you will learn more and more and prepare for your examination okay let's start with our first lesson for today so today i come with the strategy on how to calculate a rent income remember if you have been given a income statement which has a rent income with increment or decreasement of percentage it look like a difficult however i want to make it easy for you today okay without wasting other time let's go to our information number one they give us a trial balance for the year ended 28 february 2021 then they give us a rent income then the amount is 139 and 500 okay let's proceed then the additional information they said retirement paid a rent up to 30 april 2021 guys remember at the beginning under trial balance they said our financial year is ending 28 february 2021 and remember the principle of income statement said we have to record until year end which is 28 february 2021 so in this case we found that the rent has been paid up to 30 april 2021 simple means that we paid one month advance is it allowed under income statement no we have to go to income statement and subtract the amount of 30 april 2021 but now the question is how are we going to get this amount when we proceed they said note that the rent was increased by 15% per annum with effect 1 July 2020. Then they said the premises were occupied since 2018. Okay, now the problem is that if we take 139,500 divided by 30, we are, not, we are not going to get the correct amount. Why? Because in the middle of the year, the rent has increased by a 15%. Which means that we must first get the amount before rent increase so that we will be able to do it to calculate the rent increase of one month of 15% so that we can get the exactly amount of 30 April which we are going to subtract under income statement. Okay, let's start with our simple formula, a very straightforward formula. Okay, what you have to do, firstly you have to count a month before a rent increase okay let's count let's take our year is ending 28 february 2021 which means that it started 1 april 2020 okay let's count from 1 april 1 march 2020 until 1 july before rent increase okay we're going to say march april may and june remember june we don't have to count july because rent increased on one july which means that we can't count july on before which means that we have march april may and june which is four rent before increase is four months then we say it plus rent after increase which means that we have to start from july until april because they paid until april okay then i'm gonna say july august september october november december january february march and april which means that in this case we have 10 they paid march and april in advance they paid two months in advance okay then guys never do mistake and add this two together 
in this formula that we are going to apply today. Please make sure that you do them. You have to count them and put them exactly as it is in a formula. Okay, then after that, now we have to open the bracket. Okay, then we're going to have a hundred percent. Then what? Then on our numerator, we have to put 100 plus the percentage of increment. In this case, we have 100 plus increment of 15%. Okay, we're going to have 115. Okay, let's proceed. If you punch all this on your calculator, you are going to get 15 comma 5. So this 15 comma 5 is the amount that you are going to use to divide by 139. Okay, you are going to take 139,500. Then you divide by 15 comma 5. It's going to give you a amount of rent before increase of 9,000. Of 9,000. Okay. Now, remember, we are looking for amount of March and April because we have two months which has been paid in advance, which means that, okay, we have to say our amount of 9,000 before increment. Now, we have to do increment of 15%. If you want to go to exactly final answer, you can say 115 over 100 or you say it. 9,000 multiplied by 15%, then you get the amount, then you add back to 9,000. Or you go straight 115 divided by 100. You are going to get an amount. Okay, let's calculate. 9,000 multiplied by 115 divided by 100, which is going to give you 10,300. 50. This is for only one month, guys. This is only for for March. Now you have to multiply by two in order to get as well as April. Okay, which is going to give you in this thousand and seven hundred. So this is amount that you are going to subtract on your income statement. Okay, when you go to income statement. You are going to say it, a rent, income, then you open a bracket and you say 139,500 minus 10,700. Then the answer that you are going to get, you put it on the other side. Very simple guys, very simple. So please make sure that you follow my channel. I'm going to upload more and more videos which is going to assist you to go through your examination i wish you all the best make sure that you subscribe guys and follow my channel for more videos thank you so much good luck